brokenness associated with breakups. I felt it personally probably a dozen times. Half the time I was doing the breaking and the other half I was receiving the breaking and in every case I felt the brokenness. But love and romance and marriage are celebrated in churches as much as just about anything and that's because we love love. We love marriage. We love these relationships. But that means that also one of the the consequences of that celebration is that breakups can feel especially painful and shameful. The, it feels like you're damaged goods, like God might not want you anymore, or that others might look at you differently. But the hard and beautiful truth, though, is that broken up you really is a better you. And I, I don't just say that. That's what God promises us in his word, that if you believe in him and repent of whatever sin you brought into this relationship, that you are as precious to God as you have ever been. And he is using every inch of this heartache and failure and brokenness to make you more of what you were made to be and to give you more of what you were made to enjoy, and that's himself. When one prize is ripped away from us, when a relationship is taken away from us, we realize again just how little we have apart from Christ. And we realize just how much we have in him. 1 Corinthians 1.30 tells us all that Jesus is for us. It says that he's wisdom for the foolish, that he's righteousness for sinners, that he's sanctification for the broken, that he's redemption for the lost and afraid. And then we can say he is affection and security and identity for the lonely man or woman reeling from a breakup. Jesus is everything for us, and God is working in all things now because of him, because of Jesus. God is working in all things for our good. So knowing that God is working this for your good, lean into this moment. Everyone else, when they go through a breakup, just want to put it behind them. They just want to walk away and forget. But what I just shared out of 1 Corinthians 1, that empowers us Right now, knowing Romans 8, 28, that God is working this for our good, it empowers us to lean in and to ask God, God, what are you showing me now? It's an opportunity to stop. After, after the emotional tidal wave has passed, it's an opportunity to stop and to ask ourselves, what are one or two areas where God might be revealing something in us that he means to change, to make us more like Jesus. Don't do it alone. It's never safe to do introspection alone after a breakup. Draw near to other friends in your life, people that you know and trust. Get close with them and, and in community, identify a couple areas where you might grow, where you might change. Satan wants you to go off on your own in isolation and to grieve and to mourn and to weep alone. But God wants you to listen and to enjoy more of him in the process. So if you'll let him, God will take your heart and, and draw it up out of the rubble of this broken relationship and he will make it something stronger and more beautiful because of the breakup.